Good evening. Um, tonight is our uh, public hearing. Uh, this is the Appropriations Committee meeting. And uh, our agenda will consist of, we have a basic open forum. If there's anyone here who has public comment at 7.05 or in a few minutes, uh, we start our comprehensive budget hearing, public hearing. And then 8 o'clock we have approval of previous meeting minutes and other business to discuss. Anyway, uh, does anyone, to begin this meeting, does anyone have uh, anything they'd like to talk about? This is not the public hearing. I see we do not. Oh. Tom Garabedian. Yes. Okay. Uh, in my capacity, simply as an owner of a condominium in town, uh, I'd like to <clears throat> ask whether our request, which we had made to the Board of Selectmen, to extend, uh, this is a very important issue, garbage collection and recycling to all of the properties in town, whether that's something which is being accommodated in the town budget for next year. I don't know the answer to that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Through the chair, um, no, that request is not being accommodated in the proposed FY19 budget. Uh, has there been an identification of the increase in, uh, in cost that would be associated with that? Was, was that identified in the process? Um, we, at least at staff level, we did not get that far. Um, what we researched was the town's ability to uh, provide services uh, to um, services that, that, that uh, are defined as, as private, uh, using public funds, and we still cannot identify a process for doing that. We were discussing that issue with, uh, with town council. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, not clear to me why that's a private versus public issue, given that you know we share the same streets and share the same tax burden. And you know, as I understand it, there is no difference in terms of the assessment of the value of the of the condominiums in town relative to the assessment of other properties. But um, we will continue the conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. <clears throat> Anyone else? Okay, terrific. Uh, so now it's on to the next item, which is our uh, comprehensive budget public hearing for our fiscal year 19 budget. Uh, would you like to just uh, start off with a presentation, discussion, or if there's anyone who has any questions? If I may, through the chair, it may be helpful to give a quick overview of the budget, especially the funding sources. Um, and a good starting point also is identifying what has changed in the budget uh, since the selectmen adopted the town manager recommended budget. Uh, these changes include some of the discussions that occurred between the Appropriations Committee and the department heads who appeared before the committee. Uh, in terms of changes in summary form on the capital side, pay as you go. We have now reduced the police vehicle request by one vehicle, uh, and that reduces the pay as you go request by 44,246. On the borrowing side, we deleted pavement management plan, which had been budgeted at 351,000. The multi-purpose tractor, budgeted, uh, projected at $177,000. And the sidewalk plan, which was approximately $1.75 million. So those are the adjustments that have been made on the capital budget side. In terms of sources of funding, free cash, the reduction in the number of police vehicles uh, results in a negative of 44,246. And then stabilization, we added $25,000 that was previously from taxation, but we're now using free cash. And then on the taxation side, uh, which in fact is the flip side of what I just said, the stabilization fund, we moved $25,000 from taxation to free cash. 
And as I will explain later, these results, these changes put together result in a tax impact of 4.98%. Uh, sources of funds on the revenue side we identified property taxes at 1.516361 based on the allowable level of 2.5 percent we are estimating new growth at two million and seventy five thousand and then an increase in excluded debt of 1.548,400. And then we have an unused tax levy of 1.494054. State aid was still using the number from the governor's budget, uh, which was 466,000. Local receipts, uh, in fact, it's, it's, we, are, we are projecting that the change from 18 to 19 will be about 466,000. And then local receipts, the change would be $15,000. Other sources that we have identified are free cash at 1.498782. And then unused capital balances of 499821 As we have also discussed with the committee um, over the last, I think, uh, three meetings or two meetings, uh, we, are, we have identified the ambulance revolving fund the library private fundraising as funding sources for the budget. In terms of the uses of funds, um, we have stuck with the broad categories that the town has used uh, before, municipal services, education, employee benefits and insurance, and debt services. Uh, the other uses that are I think worth mentioning uh, the snow and ice deficit. As we discussed yesterday, we're projecting that number to be at 880,000. Uh, and then we also have transfers to reserves, 125,000 to stabilization, and 400,000 to the OPEP Trust, other post employment benefits. There's also a park and rec enterprise subsidy. And that aspect was discussed in detail yesterday during the meeting um, with the director of Park and Rec Services. Going on to the general fund uh, overview, sources and uses, uh, property taxes, we are projecting 68,649,922. Uh, state aid, including MSBA, are 9,379,847. Local receipts, 4,539,675. Free cash, 755,445. And then, this is free cash to be used in FY 2019. There's also a portion of free cash that we're applying to FY 2018, specifically with regard to the snow and ice deficit. Uh, 700,000 is projected for that use. And then unused capital balances, as I said earlier, 499,821. And the other sources of funds amount to 1.481 million. We have also identified how these funds will be used. The operating budget absorbs 72,906,179. Debt service, 9.4 million, approximately. Capital pay as you go, 1,020,266. Reserves, 525,000. And again, as I said, the FY 2018 snow, deficit, snow and ice deficit is 880,000. And then for the other amounts to be raised, we're projecting 1.1 million 1, 1, and 50, 952. And then the park and rec subsidy is uh, projected at 146,000 in FY19. 
Again, as I said, the next slide shows the projected tax impact. Uh, previously, when this budget went through the selectmen, uh, we're looking at approximately 5.01%. We're now down to 4.98%. As was discussed during the budget presentation to the selectmen, I think uh, we, we remain um, at least interested in monitoring what happens with the state aid budget. We are hoping that we don't have any additional snowstorms. Uh, so, sewer and water, we are discussing with Mark Abrahams, who is our consultant on water and sewer issues, uh, some deficits that have been identified. But I think, as was explained yesterday, it needs to be said to the public that we are using retained earnings to balance the water and sewer budgets. Uh, OPA liability, uh, we are funding it at less than the identified actual funding schedule amount. Uh, stabilization was still less than 5% um, of the total operating budget, which is in fact our policy requirement. And then we also have uh, other prior year deficits that we identified through our audit process. We are still going through those numbers and we have not identified or concluded whether those deficits need to be um, uh, resolved uh, at the 2018 annual town meeting. Uh, the deficits include uh, one, um, one deficit in the police department relating to police detail work. Uh, we've also been in conversations with the HCA regarding a deficit that was identified through an overpayment of a grant to the HCA. Uh, and, and, and also um, there, there were some um, school funds that were identified under that list when conversations with the school department just to make sure that uh, we resolve these issues before town meeting. And then in terms of capital, um, as was discussed with the committee, it's important to also lay this out for the public. Uh, pay as you go, we have IT hardware replacement at 35,000, public safety server upgrade at 60,000, town hall security upgrades at 45,500, election precinct tabulator at 28,750, fire communication system at 100,000. Yesterday the chief did identify that uh, based on a much more precise quote, that number may go up to approximately 115,000. Uh, police vehicle replacement, 90,000, that's for two vehicles. Uh, fire vehicle for the deputy fire chief, 48,016. Ambulance replacement, 290,000. And as was discussed yesterday, this could be funded from the revolving fund being transferred to the uh, receipts reserved for appropriation. And then we have two dump trucks for the DPW, 860,000. That's the capital on the municipal side uh, to be paid for through pay as you go. We also have capital from the school and enterprises to be paid for through the pay-as-you-go process. Uh, on the school side, we have the walk-in refrigerator at 20,000, security cameras at 100,000, wetlands order of conditions 10,000, and AEDs at 33,000. And using the retained earnings from the water and sewer enterprise, there's a backhaul at 63,400, a uh, CWMP update um, for, from the sewer enterprise at 190,000, and then water backhaul shed at 63,400. That's that's the 50 uh, percent of um, the cost of the backhaul to be borne by the <coughs> water department, and then there's the uh, Pratt Farm well at 170,000. Borrowings <coughs> on the municipal side, there's the downtown corridor project at three million, and as was discussed, pavement management, multi-purpose structure, five-year side, sidewalk plan, those have been removed from the uh, warrant and will not be moving forward in uh, FY19. On the school side, there's the TEF fields project at three million five hundred and twenty-five thousand four hundred and eighteen. The campus road master plan at 400,000. Technology upgrades at 165,000. Facility improvements at 148,500. Uh, this total 4,238,918 on the school side. 
enterprise funds, zero projects on the sewer side. Um, and then on the water side, there are two projects, uh, Sita Street Main replacement at 620,000, and then the Hate and Row Water Main replacement at 1.6 million, totaling 2.2 million approximately. And in summary, that's the budget that has been presented to the Appropriations Committee and has been reviewed with the department. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Does anybody uh here today have any questions about the budget that we'd like to take as input or discuss? I do. Uh, on uh, yes. <clears throat> now in, in capacity as moderator, <clears throat> um, question regarding turf fields. I understand that the selectmen did not agree to allow debt exclusion to be considered with respect to the fields. Um, has appropriations determined whether the um, funding of the turf fields, as as it has been presented to this point, is something that uh, that if approved by town meeting, both as to the uh, gross amount and then potentially with CPC offset, is that something that fits within the levy limit? Do you do you have that answer at this point, or will you have that answer by the time of town meeting? So we did ask we did ask that question yesterday at, at part of the budget discussion or two days ago, and we came to the conclusion that there would be a cost. It's within the levy. It'll be within the levy limit at least this year, but ongoing. <coughs> it's depending on what the excess levy capacity is. Uh, we have the challenge of making the budget work because it will be inside the levy capacity, and according <coughs> to town manager, um, it was going to have an approximate impact of about 400000 per year? Yeah, I think the, the initial year is yes. Uh, in fact, I have that number mm -hmm. I can share it with you. said the project total is about 3.5 million and using a 10-year debt service schedule the highest payment would be in year one uh, at approximately 465,546 and that, that's before offset for any CPC money that might be correct voted yeah offset of any CPC money as well as any private fundraising that has been proposed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And who, whose responsibility will it be then at town meeting to explain um, both the impact in year one and, and the impact in the in the remaining nine years uh, since that exclusion won't be an opportunity? We are preparing information that we will share with the Appropriations Committee and the explanation will be done jointly by the Appropriations Committee and the town manager. Okay. Thank you. I do have a sort of follow-on question because I had <clears throat> one question: Is you know, is this is this budget fiscal year nineteen? Is this year one? Because the project will be completed by September. So does that mean the four hundred? You said sixty-seven thousand is in fiscal year nineteen budget, and is it accounted for in this budget right now? We we have we have put that question um, to Todd. Uh, he indicated preliminarily that. There was an estimate that was built into the projections. Uh, he still needs to do further analysis in terms of um, giving you a more precise answer. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Does anyone else have a question for a public hearing? Michelle Murdoch. John Murlock, 53 School Street. So when you talked about how um, the funding over the 10-year period would be explained for the turf fields, I'm curious whether other borrowings will also be highlighted in the same way so that people can understand them when they compare. So for instance, the undergrounding is $3 million. That's yes. funded within the levy. Will that be explained as well? Yes. Uh, and in fact, uh, 
the selectman taught us that he has challenged us to come up with a thermometer um, or a tool that we can use at town meeting um, for each thing that for each <coughs> article that is on the warrant uh, to be projected up on the screen. Okay, yeah. that was all I wanted. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And to follow on to that question, because the the corridor will not be completed until I don't know what fiscal year that it will not be in the budget until two, three, four years forward. I don't. I'm mean, sort of a question asking because I don't yeah. know when is the project planned to be. Completed. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question, in fact. Um, the corridor still has to go through the permitting process, and we don't, pro we don't anticipate that it will hit the budget in FY19. So year one would be 2020? Maybe beyond 2020. It, it, we still have to go through a long permitting process. And is there a way to set aside that excess levy then for that amount four years down the road? Because there's no excess levy goes up and down each year. I believe we have to plan for it because yes. that's kind yes. of in that comment I was saying. It's not yeah. in this year's budget, mm -hmm. but it could be two, three, mm -hmm. four years down right. the road. We have to make right. sure we, I think that's also about 400,000. Yeah. Right. So again, certainly we will put together this information for the appropriations committee's review well before town meeting. And um, it also needs to be said in most of the budget discussions this year, uh, there's been an emphasis on, on debt. And to that end, we're trying to provide as much information as we can to the Appropriations Committee so that all this information can be built into the Appropriations Committee report that will be made available to the public well in advance of town meeting. Terrific. Any other questions? Do I hear a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. All those in favor of? You want to get a second? Second. second. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All those in favor of closing the public hearing say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 0. Motion carries. All right, thank you. a regular meeting so next on the agenda is uh, approval of previous meeting minutes do we have any meeting minutes ready yeah no, <laughs> given that they were monday and wednesday night yeah. that's the first day that's what we do in in fact through the chain if i may suggest if if that's okay with you you can place whatever draft you have in google docs I took extensive minutes also and can help you in oh, the next you minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I will do that. Okay. Yeah. Here. <laughs> no, 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 for that one meeting. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> darn. Because <laughs> you were not there. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, at this, at this point, um, do we want to continue with uh, where we were at the last, yesterday's meeting? ready to do motions or do we still have questions to discuss on the budget so I, I see that we have two things we have to do tonight definitely we need to go through the report doc the supporting documents that Norman and will provided last night for the appropriation report as well as start going through the articles um, and and looking at what we might be able to vote on and what we might need to gain further information about. Okay, do we want to go through the report first, just because that we want to get as much, provide as much feedback yes. Yes. earlier? Yeah. I did go through it briefly, <laughs> briefly, <laughs> and I made notes like, what is this? <laughs> it may be helpful going through it page by page. Okay, yeah. let's go through page by page, and <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we can provide the first comments. <laughs> yeah. 
again, I think it's important that we project to the public what the funding sources are and how those sources are used and how that relates then to the tax impact. That's how we came up with the first, the first page. So when it says free cash FY18, in FY18, it really is free cash for 17 there and it probably was snow and ice and maybe some other things? Yes, the FY18 refers to the fiscal year in which it is applied. Because we, we, we have, we, 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 we have, um, should we say maybe free cash current year? Okay, let's look at them. Rather than, so then you, if you see free cash current year, you know that in fiscal 18, it was applying to 17 balances. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Though I should, yes. Sort of not really. Yeah, in terms of FY18, I have to look at the list in terms of how it was applied. Yep. Though definitely for FY19, we know 700,000 is going to cover FY18. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the current free cash is going to be the FY18 number? No. no. The, 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 the two the references to FY18. Top of the table, there's FY, the sources. FY18 and FY19. Right. So let's just look at the FY19 okay. column. Okay. The reference to the FY18 on the side. Mm -hmm. Is it the X or the Y axis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That refers to which fiscal year will be applying the 700,000. Okay. okay. So we'll be using $700,000 sure. to supplement the FY18 budget. Okay. Which is last year's budget. But you just... Which is this current, current year. year. Current, current, current right. Year. I'm calling it last year just because we're talking about... Right, right. Got it. Okay. Yeah. But you need to verify Got the 1.2 million... Yes. ...is actually applied to fiscal 17. Yes. My, my, my thinking is that we applied 1.262382 to the FY18 budget as free cash. Oh. Could have been. Then what's but the 1 we'll million? Um, I'll have to verify yeah. those two numbers. Okay. Yeah. So Norman, does it mean that we have fifty-five thousand four forty-five remaining on the free cash that can still be applied on FY eighteen? Um, no, the total was one million four fifty-five. Oh, so we have. So he's broken it out between some things are going to be spent next year and some are going to spend for this year. Oh, okay. So this is this year's number. Yes, the one under the FY nineteen column. Right. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So in terms of the sources, you mentioned that the library foundation is using is using a portion of, portion of their foundation funds to support the debt for the library. Is that worth breaking out into a separate? I think it's great that they're doing that mm -hmm. to be recognized that they're doing it on one of these charts. Yes. Um, I think that's a good, good point. I'm trying to remember, Will, if there's any other location where we mentioned that. Okay. We, we, will, we will highlight that. Page one. Is that part of the <coughs> for the sources? Because the other sources. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We'll put a footnote explaining. Yeah. Was there a determination made as to how the million dollars that was raised is going to be spent? Towards the debt service over the either over the course of the loan or are we you know what I you you yeah. know what I'm getting at <laughs> yes and and, and uh, you know, in fact preempting my <laughs> Mike's question <laughs> I was expecting that question from Mike wasn't so no this this is specifically for FY19 no determination has been made with regards to how the remainder of the one million plus dollars is going to be moved over to the town. Okay. All right, any other questions on sources of uses of funds? So on the other sources, it's, it's now up to 1.5 million almost, mm -hmm. which, it's kind of a large number in terms of 
just to say other about, mm -hmm. is there anything large within that that might be broken out or explained a little bit better or where it's coming from? Yeah, we actually provide a breakdown. I believe we, we have that in the overall model. Yeah, again, to your point, yes, we will break, we'll break down the other. Uh, for the um, the box that, that has a tax impact, mm -hmm. is it possible just to indicate the value of the house that's being used for that calculation? Y yes, we can. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the snow deficit difference is interesting. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In, in fact, you. On the last point, Mrs. Robert, the value we're using is 536,100 median home value. Okay. You ready for the next page? Finally. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. How long is we'll it? Get, we'll get out of here in a good <laughs> 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 No, that was the hard one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the next page shows the shows the year to year change. Uh, in the past, mm -hmm. we've provided perhaps three years of history. There's a reason why we simply went with FY18. Um, we're still, I think, as, as, as I explained to, to the committee over the last two meetings, we're still going through some of our data, making sure that the budgets that were approved at town meeting are the ones that were transferred to MIS and were reported to the state. So my question on this one is, I know in our last year's report, mm -hmm. we had a page about the excess levy and, and how we came up with it each time. Would this particular item replace that? Because it does have excess, it shows what the excess levy is, or the unused levy, I should say, mm -hmm. within the top half of the page. And then it, it basically tells you how you get there. Would this replace that particular page? That was our thinking. However, if if there's a if there's a desire on the part of the committee for us to provide a narrative explaining um, the excess levy, we, we could do that. Uh, however, also if you have suggestions in terms of what we could pull from last year's report and place alongside this page, we will we can also yeah, when I was looking at this, the only thing I would think is that I like the definition page. I like the yeah. whole last year report, oh, yeah. obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the definition, yeah, I should mention up front, definitions pages, are they, are, they are staying. They are coming in here. But I think it might be nice to finally define cherry sheet, since most yeah. people are going to look oh, at this and sheet. never yeah. see yeah. that, never yeah. have seen that before. Okay. And then on the second page that has all the expenditures by category, yes. category mm -hmm. um, I think it'd be good to break out Keefe Tech from yep. uh, HPS, from the public schools. Yes, thank you for reminding us of that. General comment yes. that we number the pages to. Oh yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. We and we wanted to content. Exactly. I like see someone asking a question. And, and, and yeah, okay. it's just a draft. Okay. Is it, and we left this fluid to really, really send the message that you will make the final call in terms of what this looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Page are we on at this point? <laughs> I'm on the debt page. Yeah. The, okay. yeah. So yeah. go two more pages forward. You're on this yeah. page? I'm on a pie graph. Yeah, the pie graph. Oh, yeah, I already got that. <laughs> you, <doing pie? laughs> you really didn't like the pie chart? Um, <laughs> I want to see what's in the um, the big chunk. Exactly. Yeah. The big, <laughs> well, the big I guess slice. my question would be on, on the, if we did the debt service, is it possible to break out? Because, you know, we've got 
the majority of it, you know, 77% is the general fund. So mm -hmm. how much is excluded debt and how much is within the levy limit? Okay. We, oh, yeah. We, we attempted to do that in the detailed chart. Um, you see column number two, three, excluded or not? We say yes, yes, no, no. Yeah. yeah. And the reason why we went with so much detail is that we've had people ask, what project? What projects are rolling is well, I think it's great that you put in there. I actually got a call asking for, can I send them the, can I send them this information? And I actually was kind of hesitant to give the raw, it's in the raw file out there, the information. So I'm glad you put it in there. Yeah. You notice what we also did, and thanks to Will uh, in, in that regard. We were fine breaking up FY20 through FY22. And then the last, the next three groupings are based on a rolling nine year basis. Because we realized that if we did year by year all the way up to FY49, we may need 100 pages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But you know what would be interesting, and I don't yeah. know if it's here, is to show a chart. I mean, I think we always ask her that that shows oh. how it's increasing. And in that instance, I think we'd probably want to show. We've always had a chart that budget. shows yeah. the current debt, the authorized but unused debt, right. and then you know as it right. going off five, six, or what. It and then be. I think the debt, assuming everything passes. Yep. In fact, we also we have a chart that lists what has been authorized uh, and borrowed, and what has been authorized and not yet issued. We went okay. back and forth and then whether to include that level of detail or not, but we, we have the information, Mike, in answer to your question. Okay. Yeah. And I hear we want to include the famously known Ron Eldridge yes. chart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I want to know what I'll be remembered for. <laughs> Details. <laughs> Details. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you're kind of slacking. You know, 24 hours. I'm going to get them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I'm, so um, I'm assuming we've gone past the debt. And anything else on debt? Yeah. We're going through all these. Yeah. Yeah. Would we include this the level of detail? You I think you to, could. Yeah. I think you could include it in an appendix. It, yes, we, we, we can do that, definitely. Mm -hmm. There was one question that we wanted to pose to the committee, namely, there's always an interest in what debt is coming on and what debt is coming off, mm -hmm. and then projecting that cumulatively as a number that people can can see out there. Mm -hmm. We were torn doing that because, as we have learned over the years, um, we can present that number based on the projects that have been approved. However, year by year, projects get added. And thus, without knowing what projects are going to be added, and given the history mm -hmm. as to how much the town adds in capital projects every year, we thought that number might be misleading. So our, 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 our resolution in terms of understanding what comes on or what comes off was to then present that as, a, as, as this chart. Now we realize, based on your feedback, we can also include, as you suggested, uh, the chart, as well as identifying what has been authorized and issued versus authorized and issued. Could we yeah. pull something from the 10-year capital plan so, you know, obviously we know that in certain years there are big ticket items that are coming down. Mm -hmm. That was like, the Ron Eldridge chart because we kind of, when yeah. we, this was before you had the school, the DPW, and, and we kind of showed them as they added up and you saw the spike going up. That That's what you're referring to as the Ron Eldridge right. chart. Right. Yeah. But I'm thinking, you know, there are going to be some bigger ticket items and, and we know from DPW what they're expecting to buy, we know from fire what they would you know, what they've got planned out. We know from schools what they, what they are intending to plan out or, or, well, I know they have to, they're still going through their process. 
But we'll also get we'll, we'll get into the same predicament that you get your name on that then because you know you have the oh, the, the Elmwood School renovation. So we're yeah. suddenly digesting this debt, and then I think that's five six years out, and then you're going to see. And, the, and I think it'd be good to show that. Yeah, though. I do too. Yeah. So Can you? Does it include year over year <laughs> total I hope Ron's watching. tax um, <laughs> implication because of the capital, and then the debt services if it's going up or down? It, it, it's just that's what it does. Service. In fact, this yeah. chart was going to the ceiling. Because yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm thinking about when you're showing when the debt's coming out and off is almost like a stacked bar graph, so you could have you know. Debt that's projected but not yet authorized, you know, one color as part of that year's bar of what the, the debt is, and, and kind of color code it that way. We, we, that's how we did it last year. Right. Yeah. You can try different you know, yeah. different format yeah. to see what yeah. you know, it just looks the best. And I think that was also, I think that was more in the town meeting presentation yeah. rather than in anything in the report. Okay. We need to see that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and then we follow up with the with the capital projects. And again, thanks thanks to thanks to real we have a chart that identifies the department, the capital item the amount, the funding source, and the brief description. What, what, what page what, uh, I know, this page. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Which I think the only, so I, I like the way that that does it. The mm -hmm. only thing that we did differently last year is we broke yeah. it out by article so people could follow within the, um, within town meeting itself and see, okay, well, this is what we're paying for by each article and how, whether or not the committee recommended it, um, what the amount was, what the source of funds was, and then as you got into the pay as you go, it was that detailed thing like Will has. Okay. Okay, I'll look into that. Yep. Yep. Um. And then, um, with anything else on capital projects? Uh, I like this page. It definitely will help when presenting each, each yeah. part of it. Yeah. yeah. And then we also have the Community Preservation Fund balances. Which I meant to bring up. They haven't been to us this year. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Has it been invited? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why did you put this chart in? <laughs> oh no, it was in my notes, don't worry. <laughs> so on the community preservation fund balances, those are the balances currently at the at the end of before the CPC funding that would happen at this town meeting. Correct. And before any CPC spending at this town meeting. Correct. And in fact, um, when, correct me if I'm wrong, we also had a plan where we could list the CPC projects that are recommended in FY19 mm -hmm. on the same page. Yeah. So th this is still. Uh, based on the buckets and whatnot? Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. So does this, these buckets include fiscal year 18, you know, state? And it was a reimbursement. Sure state. Have yes. Yeah. So it already has fiscal year 18 in there. Yes. Okay. So it's basically the balances of, say, April 30th. Or what we project to spend May throughout fiscal true. year 18. Yeah. No, because, oh, okay. Yeah. Because everything else is night. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We, I don't know that we defined CPC last year, and it might not be a bad thing okay, to help people understand that. Uh, yeah, page, 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 page. Yeah. yeah. I just keep flipping back to last year. Yeah. 
<laughs> the chart my husband hates. <laughs> oh, this one right here? Uh huh. Yeah. The one that's broken into like a bunch of little slices. Yeah. Although is it's it, not is as bad. Is that accurate? Wasn't education always between 53 and 54, and it now it shows 62? Is that including Keith? Yes, it's he called, yes. He, here's why. Um, we've broken out, we've pulled out debt service from that calculation of the percentage. And in fact, some of the reports. And you, re and you pulled, out the pulled out the enterprise, enterprise bonds. Exactly. So we've taken out the debt service, and the school percentage went up? Well, because you take if you take this is just the operating, yeah. so no enterprise funds, no debt service. Yeah. Okay. What else is missing? I got you. No CPC. Yeah. So here and here on this one, break out the key piece again. Exactly. Kif. <laughs> I think we definitely need to explain somewhere on this chart that it that this is only operating budget that that it doesn't okay. reflect enterprise funds or debt service. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. For the first time. Yes. Yeah. Is it worthwhile just keep doing the same as we always have? So could people do a they check from year to year and, and you, oh, you could, could you show, do both? You could both. show historical on this and, and see that it's still the same percent. It's it, exactly in fact I looked at other reports before, <coughs> and, and we did have in prior years um, a similar depiction of the distribution of funds okay. without the enterprise fund, without yeah. the um, debt service as well. Yeah. yeah, we did just do the operating budget. Yeah. We just have nothing to compare it to, like there's no historical year over year to show that. Yeah, we, we, well, we just have the bar graph year. that people couldn't read. Oh. This is last, last, last year. Okay. Report. Which I now have on the Last year's I had just pulled it up on the computer. The tweet is a bunch. Yeah. Okay. So let's do it. Okay. And then Obviously, Pam, before you ask the question, we will have a narrative that explains that explains the changes in each budget line. I was just or wondering if this is the vote page. Y yes. Um, yeah. No, no, okay. no, no. Yeah. It's, it's fair enough. So, so. Oh, yeah. This is the, the vote page is this one. No, it's even further than that. Oh, further than that. Oh. So, one more in the the vote page. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember, sorry, yeah. So at the very end, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really yeah. Right. Where you'd have the, the line exactly. items for yeah. FY 2019 appropriation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So again, the intent here is, is to show the historical evolution of the budget. Mm -hmm. um, the request, the time budget request, the request. And then the percentage changes from FY18 to 19. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know, Mike. I know you pointed this out before, i.e., that we may need the narrative of explaining how we got to where we are now. Okay. Yeah. In, we in, this, in this package or as part of the presentation? It, we, again, we, we anticipated that the first page be the cover memo okay. from the yeah. appropriations committee, gotcha. and yeah. that could provide the explanation. Yeah. Can we include a similar or build into this the school budget as well? Because this kind of shows you know the town manager recommended it'd be great to get the superintendent recommended, and then what they actually voted on. I, I think you'd have to have it not part of this, but separate because we. That's I'm assuming one motion again. So it'd be yeah. good to have yeah. those. When I looked at what we did last year, mm -hmm. when we when we spoke about education, what we so that was sort of what I was getting going to go to, is in the previous year we had split out and given explanations for each of the main operating budgets, okay, with narrative there, and because we don't 
nobody but the school committee can say how things are getting spent within the mm -hmm. schools. We instead gave the overview that they provided as as the written documentation, but not this much goes to central school, this much right. goes to. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, can we give them the app? Because it looks like they did kind of talk about, I'm looking at last year's budget. Um, I mean, there was some detail to it. So again, just, just ask them to add what they'd like to include. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And I think yeah. I pulled it from their presentations okay. yeah. that they, for their public mm -hmm. hearing. Yeah, in fact, that's what we were thinking about in terms of what would go in the narrative. Mm -hmm. But the narrative will clearly from each department, including the school department, the key highlights for their budget. Yeah. Yeah. Are we using some of the contents that we're We will ask them whether they, they want us to include yeah. yeah. some of them. Yeah. 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 Lisa, I think I had, I think I worked with Dr. McLeod to make sure I, and who was it, was Lori the chair last year, I think? Nickerson? Was she? I think so. Okay. Um, to make sure that we have the correct information there for the schools. Okay. But this is a, a, a the detailed breakout by expense category, mm -hmm. I think is the one that, that I had heard the most feedback on that, that it was appreciated, especially mm -hmm. with the narratives and whatnot. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Well, yes, a question would be, so we've got the, you know, where we've got these pages, this page, which breaks it out. Are we, do we want to go back like last year where instead of saying, okay, here's in the general government, it's this, this, and this, and it just lists everything. Previously we had said personal services and then expenses and the major components. Right. Um, every time the model changes, it's it's a it's a difficult link, as I'm sure Will will understand <laughs> shortly. Yes. We, we, uh, we still want Will to show up at town hall the next day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so the question becomes, what do you want to show? Do you want to say general government is this top number, or do you want to show it split between personal services, expenses, and other large amounts? It's just a question to think about. Is this compared to, you know, when I had done a presentation in the past where we just have the, the very general, you know, the 15 departments and just show the increase and so you can see the outliers very clearly in, in one table there without having the outliers meaning if it wasn't, if it was above 5%, it kind of would stick out as, a, as an increase or decrease. That would be more in the presentation. Right. So we can... Okay. So if you look at, at the... Let's take a look at this one. This page? Oh, oh okay. More, yes. Do you, are you looking for a more detailed one? It's slightly more detailed, but... But, so if you look at this page, which has, yes, which shows all the pieces of yeah. general government, right. you actually have to go on to the second page until you get to that total. And what I had done was instead of saying, okay, let's look at it by finance and then assessors mm -hmm. and then this and that, I said, what are all the personal services, which is the salaries? What's all the expenses? Did you aggregate them all then? Mm -hmm. Oh, you want us it's to do nice. that? Yeah, we could yeah. do that. So I, that's, I think it's nice for people to see the detail too. Because it, it shows you, like for instance, last year when you look at general government, it shows that personal services went up 2.3%. Okay, so you list everything, but then you aggregate the, aggregate the expenses versus the personal services? Yes, so you've got, well, you've got the whole detail in the back. Okay. So if you wanted to know how much each one was, but then you also could look and say, okay, my total for general government for personal services is this. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that the only category, or are you thinking the, well, some of the key items? Yes, yeah, some of the key items, yeah. But what are the other ones? Um, so in, in general the government, you had budget. the comp reserve, right. which yeah. was HR, it sort of got broken out separately because it was a large right. dollar right. amount. Mm -hmm. um, we broke out legal counsel, we broke out the appropriation reserve mm -hmm. fund. And um, that was in last year's? That was in last yeah. year's. Do you know what page it was? Yeah. Page 20. Oh, look at page numbers. Well, I had page numbers. Because <laughs> 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 this is the final draft. <laughs> okay. 
But when you go, you know, if you go to Health so, and Human Services, you just have, you know, you only have three that right. you've broken. I mean, for the most part, you can see when you look down the, um, the how everything gets voted, the individual pieces. So you can say, okay, you know, under town manager, there's personal services and expenses. But then when you go to appropriation, you see there's reserve fund. Right. So we do include it, and we have department by department with the narrative. Yeah. yeah. Well, so it goes by the overall. So general government, um, public safety, mm -hmm. and Health then and human services. Yeah. Yeah. Public works. I, I like the format from last year. I think. Do we have the narratives for this year too, or that I think we yes. got yesterday, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we provided. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and what we're doing is, we we really want to summarize them into perhaps two or three pages versus thirty pages. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even. I I yeah. summarized them into one. Oh. So if it was general government, <laughs> it only got what it only got whatever didn't get needed at the top. We 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 will work on it. Yes. <laughs> So, and in fact, culture and recreation only got half a page. I was just noticing that. <laughs> <laughs> There's not that much in there. There's a library. <laughs> yeah, but look at debt service and employee benefits. That went up. <laughs> yeah. But it, it provides the highlights of, of yeah. what the changes made. Right. And I think mm -hmm. it's an easy way for, for somebody to, to jump in. Right. And I like showing the percent change because I think sometimes it's just... That, that lets you pop what's, what's you know, a big change. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you see the dollar change, you say, oh, I'm oh. not going to worry about $10,000, right. even right. though it's 500%. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, we'll call this a Pam Waxler. Um. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, that's where we sort of told what was happening with community preservation on page 27 last 27. year. Yeah. Am I re are looking at the same document? No, I'm looking at no. last year's report. We're going on paper. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, I see. Joe, you're like, I did not see a page number. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, did they write down a page number? <laughs> I numbered them all. This one didn't list the projects. Did it? What's I that? I don't see the projects listed. No, it didn't, because those were actually back, if you keep going, after the breakout, it mm -hmm. then got into the articles. Okay. And then in the articles, so the CPC was on page 36 and 37, it listed the projects. Okay. And also the source of funding from them. I'm still getting to 36. There we go. Yep. I think if we just say what the format is, maybe Norman can work on it instead of going one by one. Or do you want? To? No, I, I think is that done. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think I think we're pretty much done. Unless there's anything else you would like us to add. Right. Yeah. There was one thing I thought would be interesting to add, unless it's just not accurate enough, is that we have our uh, our modeling, especially when it, we're talking about predicted excess levy capacity. I just think, just based on the questions we had in the public hearing, like, like we talked before, everything about the debt is going to be uh, interesting as well as, okay, now that these two big items are now within the levy capacity, what, what are the ramifications of that? Um, is it, are we up, going to be up against you know, Prop 2.5 in upcoming budgets? Yeah. We saw one of the reports we got earlier on, and I think the selectmen had seen it as well, it shows the projected going out mm -hmm. right. for sources That's and That's what I was asking. Went to and it. so maybe if we add that in. Okay. Do we feel it's accurate enough to, you know, it, it is public information. It's right. been discussed at previous board of selectmen. Is it something we want to put um, some information here based on late, our latest projections? Of, I think it'd be good. I think it would also, especially in the future years, is is a list of assumptions. 
Yeah, the assumption that are built into it. In fact, I think that was one of the questions from uh, uh, Mrs. Robach, mm -hmm. i.e., why are we using 4% for local receipts when, in fact, in past years, the actuals came in at uh, 2 and 3%. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So is it, can we put something in here? Oh, yes, okay. definitely, yeah. That, that was the one idea. In fact, there's a, there's a page that would that could take that. Remember, way I think the first one is sources versus uses of funds. Mm -hmm. We could also then say projected yeah. going forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand that things always come up, but based on the information that we have at this time, which is all that we can really assume. Builds us in. The only question I would have in that, in, that um, in those projected numbers, are you adding in increases to debt for anticipated borrowings for pro capital projects that might be needed? Yeah, in, in fact, when we did the projections, we received specific information from the larger departments fire, police, schools, GPW facilities. And so it's been built into this. Yes. Yeah. Do we do anything to show what's going on with the water and sewer enterprise funds and potentially parks and recs revolving fund? We did last yeah. year? Yeah. Where we just, we in the last year's report, we showed what the appropriation was used, what mm -hmm. the debt service was, and then an explanation for each of those, you know, and each of those enterprise funds. Okay. Mm -hmm. The same format for all the yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you use it for all the departments and then enterprise. Yeah, and we have parks and rec. Yep, we have parks and rec too. Yeah, and can I we, think we have one for debt service too. Yeah, we, we can follow the same format. Yeah, yeah. oh, and CPC. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so parks and rec, we don't ever carry any balances forward from year to year, correct? They, the they have a retained they earnings. Retain reserve, yeah. Yes, they have retained yeah. earnings. Is it a set n number that they reserve, or does it vary? It, it, it varies. Yeah. What is it right now? Do we know? Is it? Yeah, I can give you the number. In fact, it was certified at, we have a chart. We have a chart that shows the retained earnings. Because that's the one thing that aren't in these, for the enterprise funds, the right. retained earning balances. Right. Is it something that would be helpful for people to know, or? Given that we're talking about potentially funding the um, the fields out of that, I think people oh, might have a, rent. yeah. Oh, I don't, no, I don't believe any of that. What, I don't believe anything of the turf fields is coming out of the parks and rec. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, they're setting up a separate revolving account. Yeah, yeah, it's a separate revolving account. Yep. Okay. They do have some expenses related to it. Yes. We also have uh, tax impact versus inflation. I yeah, mean, no. last year, is this not going to work in our favor, so we don't want to do it, or is it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we, had, we had a lot of graphs in here. That <laughs> I, liked, I liked the graphs that we had last year. When I, I, I can work with Norman and Will to, to if, you, if, you, if it's, oh, we'd like to keep this kind of graph in. Well, remember, our thought process has always been we'll work out this shell, come to the committee, have a discussion, and then first thing the next day, we're calling you. Oh, okay. You will be busy. <laughs> <laughs> you will be busy. You have one yeah. month. Yeah. Can you be a consultant in the future? <laughs> yes. yes. There you go. I, I, 
and they would be great. receiving the same pay, correct? Correct, <laughs> exactly. Okay, just checking. Well, we'll give you a cost of living increase based off the percentage of you know what your current salary is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you may have to increase some travel costs. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> If we name it the prime okay. cam website, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have report, report we're more minutes. likely to get it a consult. The, yeah, the other one that I saw from last year that I liked was the new growth that showed the projected versus, or the estimated versus what actually came in. Yeah. The new growth, history of new growth. Yeah. Should we keep stuff about the um, And then in that one, we also projected out a few important. years as well, so people could could understand. Yeah, we, we have, I think, a three-year projection for new growth. Yeah. yeah. Do we define? We might want to add a definition for new growth on how that is calculated. Because I have in my mind how I think it is. We'll provide but a definition. <laughs> yeah, about an hour discussion with my husband about this. <laughs> we'll have a dictionary. Yeah, well, I have a, I have a two-page dictionary. It might go to yes. three pages. But, you know, for people that are coming in yeah. and seeing it once a mm -hmm. year, it provides a good basis. And maybe we move the definitions into the back as an appendix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea, actually. And I like the slide about the um, OPEB liability trust fund. I yeah. think it's important to keep that in people's minds. Even though we're not getting as much as we want. Oh, so you want to, Mike, you wanted to keep that tax impact versus inflation? I was asking, what part of this opinion is that? I, I mean, I've, all I did was I took, you know, I went online and said, yeah. give me the, you know, well, this year it's 2.9%. Okay. I know what inflation is, but it's not a hard chart to do. I think No, it's, it's very easy to do. What page yeah. was that on? Hmm? What page was that on? 12. 12. Did you really just know that off the top of your head? No, I'm looking at it. <laughs> I pulled this out of my files <laughs> as I left tonight. <laughs> No, I left the big binder at home. <laughs> oh, so we did have a current and projected debt service, but this is not the one, you know, this yeah. doesn't show. Authorized, not the bad issue. <laughs> right. Oh, wait, no, it says an anticipated borrowings based upon town meeting approval and estimated reasonably expected borrowings based on the five year capital plan. What page? Oh, right here. Page 17. Yes. And in answer to the earlier question on the free cash for the enterprise funds, mm -hmm. as of July 1, 2017, sewer 1,175,918, water 1,479,410, and then park and rec 214,214,564. How much is park and rec? 214,564. 214,564. Okay. The first one you gave was water or sewer? Sewer. sewer. If we do this OPEP liability, there are new assumptions this year. Oh, we have, in fact, with a new actuarial report, uh -huh. new accounting system, and new assumptions. So, For historically, history. it's not, I mean, Historically, we've always said, okay, it's around $9 million. It's now much higher. It's, I think the number is higher than 19. I don't have the exact I, I can pull up the exact number for you. Yeah. yeah. Because it, it would be good to know what we've underfunded this year's amount by. Yeah. Yeah, we, what's, I have that number. How, how much is in for OPEP this year? 400. 400 odd. 
publication was around one million. That's what I thought. Yeah. So maybe instead of the status of the funding liability, show it as a, a difference, the amount that we've underfunded. Okay. okay. So we have $800,000 that we're using in excess levy to fund two capital projects instead of borrowing, and we are underfunding OPEG by $600,000. Is yep. that wise? Just going to put it out there. It well, the, the, to fund it further will increase the overall tax impact. Well, I'm suggesting if we pull those. We actually don't fund those two capital articles, which is the excess levy, and use that for OPEC. Okay. Which two? You're the talking about the two borrowings? Undergrounding and the turf, yeah. Um, all, the only thing that we could do is recommend to take no action, which means we don't recommend the articles, but that doesn't mean that they can't pass a town meeting. Yeah. Right. But then there's no way to fund it if we... Okay. Well, all of it. I just, I feel like well, we're I kind of pushed into a, a position now where we can't necessarily... Uh, I mean, I think that was a decision by the Board of Selectmen. Um, I mean, there are other alternatives. We still put funding into stabilization. We can... Mm -hmm. Move that to uh, OPEP right. stabilization. Is there any more excess levy left after the? Uh, you no. Know? And and we have discussed this in prior years that if the um, that we'd like to see the funding of OPEP trust fund through the operating budget since it's an ongoing right uh, an ongoing expense. Um, and we've had the ability to fully fund it through free cash, but there's not as much available this year. Right. I, I, I think the process, because it was delayed, and I don't know if normally the ballot is voted on before we've approved the budget, but I feel like. So, so keep in mind that OPEB, the amount that was funded this year, is basically we were on track from previous OPEB payments of from the latest assessment, not the latest assessment, assessment, but the previous assessment. Mm -hmm. So we just got this new assessment that said we've been really underfunding. So I guess they almost want a six hundred thousand dollar per year increase. Is it up to a million dollars? Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. So that's a that's a big hit right. to to do in one year. So and we're also paying the current year post employment benefits out of the operating budget. The ones yeah. that have to be paid. This is setting it up so that you ultimately have a fund that you don't have to go is am i saying this correctly that you don't have to go through the operating budget to pay the current year expenses you're you're providing a fund like a pension fund that will pay out against this it's almost Correct. like you're employing yes. people today and put money into the fund to support them social once they security. retire it's like social security yeah. Yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah instead of saying well, just pay their benefits even though they're no longer working for the town right. we're going to be paying their benefits for right no I understand I understand, yeah. I understand why the funds are I'm just suggesting that we're not funding that and we're using excess levy for something that we could be borrowing through well, debt no, we're not using the excess oh I see. Yeah. if we go into more excess I don't know if I understand your question but if we dig into more excess levy it's going to increase the levy on the taxpayers and increase the tax impact Above five percent, right? Right. Here's my point. <laughs> I, I, I understand okay. your point. <laughs> my point is that it was decided by the board of selectmen before we had a chance to look at the budgets to say we are not going to put this on the ballot, so we can't debt exclude those, or the town can choose not to do that. So now our debt exclusion, where we potentially could have taken some of that and applied it to OPEG, which is something that isn't very sexier, maybe in the eyes of the Board of Selectmen, but this is something that's a, a real liability for us, wasn't funded um, as much as, you know, we probably should have. So um, now the decision has been made, and now we're backed into a corner where, you know, if we're going to, if town meeting's going to pass these two, borrowing, um, you know, these two major projects, we don't have any ability to, to do anything with OPEG. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Um, I guess I'm. 
what is the latest excess levy capacity for this year? Is that 1.4? Yes, I don't 1.4. I mean, we still have plenty still of have excess some. levy yeah. capacity for yeah. this yeah. year, but the we don't. The problem is next year, it's what, 400,000? Yes. No, it's the. I think it's just whatever comes down here is the excess levy. Since there's nothing in the end, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. Where are you? I'm on um, the Board of Selectmen handout from March 28th. <laughs> 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 okay. That's why I wanted the our projected excess levy capacity to know what it is. And yeah. Or what we predict based on current models. Right. I, in all honesty, though, I think it's also something we got handed out to, but I don't know where it was. Oh, we've gotten it in the past. I yeah. Think I know that. I'll look more into it based on the other, uh, based on the other <coughs> items that the committee has discussed regarding the future projections. Mm -hmm. We'll take a look at that chart again. Okay. Yeah. Yep. In, in terms of the the actuarial accrued liability uh, relative to OPEP. It went from 19 million eight sixteen two two five as of July 1, 2014, to 32 million three hundred ninety eight nine hundred thirty eight as of July 1, 2016, for an increase of 12 million five hundred eighty two seven hundred and thirteen. That was seven one eighteen on the it, second number. The second number. The 32 million. It's from July 1, 2016. It is 16. What yes. was the first number from? 2014. Uh, yeah, oh, 14, okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the annual OPEP cost went from 1.752 million to 3 million and 95.140 for an increase of 1.343132 million. So what is yeah, that? What is that cost? What does that represent? That number? The annual expense of, of what we pay. what we pay Ex exactly okay yeah the second set hey. is the is the annual commitment by the town the annual or people cost yep okay yes what we have to pay out every year to cover yeah. yes do we know it's driving the increase is it more people retired or um it's it's a it's a it's several factors um there was a change in the assumptions that we used in the calculation. Okay. The predicted rate of return. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and in fact, the assumption changes cost the normal cost to increase by hundred and thirty dollars, hundred and thirty thousand dollars. And then also there was a change in the GASB method, GASB defined method for calculating OPEP. Okay. You know, this is the predicted liability if we do nothing in. 30 years out, but if we did a borrowing, if we did a debt exclusion today saying let's do a borrowing for all our OPEB mm -hmm. obligations today, and we just pay that over 30 years, it would be a, I think it was like, was it like a eight or nine million dollar borrowing? And then we just pay interest on that, it, but I think, you know, because that's our expected liability, but we could do a borrowing if we paid it all today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would, I think, it was it was under ten million, correct? Back, back in 20, 2014, I believe that was the number. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what the number is now in the new report. It sounds like a good number because that was the number of my chart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was like, I don't know why it's just so. It's not really <laughs> what we owe. It's what not what we owe today. It's what right down the road. Right, road how what we need to fund to keep, yeah. 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 In fact, the specific number, back in 2014, the OPEP obligation was 2 million, and, no, 12 million and five. Um, it's now increased to 15 million 593 six, uh, and 67 as of June 30th, 2017. Well, it would be good to keep the chart in the uh, the updated one. Yeah. It's five turf fields. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. 
four or five underground ones. <laughs> okay. Let me warm up. We're moving on. Or two and a half of each. <laughs> yeah. Any other suggestions? Mm -hmm. on So you'll have that by like noon tomorrow? I have a call from 10 to 11, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, already Even have a conference call on my schedule. We'll be calling you tomorrow, okay? And if my brother's still watching, um, we're supposed to do his taxes tomorrow as oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Is tax day delayed because of a One marathon? Okay, yeah. But it's it's still like he's it's not national. in the state. It's and he's got delayed, delayed as well too. Yeah. There's a reason why I can't remember. Yeah. Because we're doing it so different. Right. How are we doing with the charts? We're good. We're good. I think we're done. Yeah. We're done. Yes. Yeah. So the committee is inclined to move to the votes and the decision whether you want to start with capital or you want to start with the operating budget. So, so, start so we can get you out. Um, <laughs> do we have the draft warrant? Yes, we, we we have copies of the draft warrant and we share it with everybody I think tonight. This right here? Yes. 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 <laughs> Which you'll notice does not have um, article numbers in it. Okay. So we're changing up a little bit how I would recommend we vote. Oh. We just vote by article name okay. and not associate it with a number. Um, what we've done in the past is we've sort of gone through and said, can we address it, can we not address it yet? Mm -hmm. And that sort of thing. Um, I thought we'd be ready to do, so the first one was the fiscal year 2018 supplemental appropriations and transfers. But I don't believe that all of it's coming from free cash. Yeah, and, and at this point, we're still compiling the numbers. Okay, so, so we'll leave we that just one put off, home. which yeah. is why I wrote update. In, in fact, the, I'm trying to remember, does the committee have, do you do a motion for each, or you have a standing motion, and then the chair calls for a vote as you go through each article? We have a motion for each. How about Oh, okay. <laughs> Pam has been busy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Thank you. So, and and generally, if especially if it's a big long one, mm -hmm. we say as written in the draft motion or warrant articles and motions document. Okay. It makes it much easier. Um, so I guess the we could go through by, by each one and then say what needs to happen. So you're still working, so fiscal year 2018, you're still working out numbers on. Yes, Um The unpaid bills from previous years, I'm assuming Hold. is you're still working on those. Yes. The excess bond premium, what we've done historically is mm -hmm. we'll make a motion, get a second, right. and then open it up for discussion. Mm -hmm. But we could also have information provided to us ahead of time. It, I'm it's looking at this one in particular, the excess bond premium. Do we really have one this year? I know we did that last mm -hmm. year for the first time. We do. Yeah. Okay. So. In fact, if you look at the motions document, we have the details. Right. Yes. So what would you like, to, we can do a motion, a second, and open for discussion? Okay. So I move, the Appropriation Committee recommend the excess bond premium article to appropriate $118,270.81 from the remaining net premium paid to the town upon the sale of the town's $29,250,000 general obligation municipal purpose loan of 2016 bonds dated December 1, 2016, as described in the draft warrant articles and motions document included in tonight's minutes. Okay. Well, you second them all just for ease. How's that? If you're you okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Discussion? The 
someone going to be prepared at town meeting to explain it? I'm hoping Norman is. Yes. Can we, you explain we, it can, right now? Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is well, the we have to before we can vote. This is the one I still don't fully understand. Yeah. What I have done is I have contacted uh, Unibank and asked for a for a primer on bond premiums. Mm. They have forwarded as a draft. And we're also working with Todd uh, to develop a very simple handout for town meeting just to explain this concept. It's a relatively new concept that came up. Um, you know, it has been in place for a while, but it got more redefined uh, under the municipal modernization law. And so clearly, yes, we need a bond premiums 101 to share with the public. So these premiums that we're voting on here. Oh, I remember this from last year. I, it was slightly different last year. Yeah. Because last year was unused capital articles. I thought we had I one thought. of these too, though, didn't we? Oh well, God, you tell me what it is, and I go, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, there, there was an article last year, and you'll notice, in fact, there is an article that corrects. Oh, the, last year's. Exactly. Um, it's on page, I'm telling you. I need an explanation of what it is exactly. Uh, yeah, I... So how do we know what the amount is, I guess, is the first question. Page? It's, yes. It, 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 we know because at the time the borrowing is actually um, issued, mm -hmm. the amount is identified. Uh, is identified to the town, and that's how we know. The borrowing, yeah, the borrowing, yeah, the, the borrowing uh, articles identify the, the premium amount. And so that the, that premium then gets applied to the articles based on the proportion that was borrowed for those on that obligation. Correct. That so obligation. can we, we use those premiums for future borrowings? So we apply it there so we don't have to do it again? Or is that, what is the article? essentially say? I think th these are applied to the the cost of the project and the cost of the project is reduced by the amount that is identified here. So could it, yeah. so you know, for example, the DPW, uh, um, we'll go into the assumption the DPW is done, it's not going to have any more borrowings, so this $43,000 can pay down some of that debt? Correct. Okay. I think it'd be good to have a explanation for town meeting. That's why this is the one I have trouble explaining. <laughs> Are we ready for a vote at this point? Yes. All those in favor of the excess bond premium motion, say aye. 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 Opposed? Four zero. The motion carries. Okay. The next one is the property tax exemption increase. I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the property tax exemption increase article that the town vote to accept the provisions of Chapter 59, Section 5, Clause 1, Slash 2 of the Massachusetts General Law, formerly Section 4 of Chapter 73 of the Acts of 1986, as amended by Chapter 126 of the Acts of 1988, or, yeah, 1988, to provide an additional real estate tax exemption of 75% in the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2018 for those qualifying for an exemption under Chapter 59, Section 5, Clauses 17D, 22, 22A, 22B, 22C, 22D, 22E, 37A, 41C, 42, or 43 of the Massachusetts General Law. Second. <laughs> Next year, I'm putting that, well, somebody can put as written in the motion document. <laughs> and that's just the standard one we do every year. Exactly. Ready for a vote? Mm -hmm. All those in favor of the property tax exemption increase motion say aye. 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 Opposed? For 
zero, the motion carries. Can I ask one question about how this is in here? Um, it says sponsor is a finance director, but technically we don't have a finance director, do we? Yeah. Is Default that, would be the town manager. Okay. Do we yeah. need to change that, or should we just leave it as is? We, we will change it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the first one said finance director slash town manager. Can we see if the chief has articles he's waiting for? So we can. Oh, no. Are you sure? Yes, thank you. Really? Much. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're making sure we vote that ambulance, no. right? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say I enjoy it. <laughs> all right, all right. And yeah, we don't believe you. <laughs> in, in, in fact, with the chair's permission, I just want to make sure that even the public gets this. You had asked the question earlier about bond premiums. These are funds paid by the underwriter who is the purchaser of bonds to the town in addition to the amount of bonds borrowed by the town. The bond premiums result when market rates are low. Bidders want to put up a higher rate on the bonds so they offer additional cash, which is the bond premium to the town. The bonds are awarded to the bidder who has the lowest TIC true interest cost at time of the sale. And the bond premium is given to lower the TIC of bonds. It is considered bond proceeds but does not have to be repaid. The bond premium can be used to reduce the amount of bonds borrowed, which is what you just did. Or for another capital project which the town can borrow for, thereby eliminating the need to borrow for another project. And that's what I said. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how much was it? It is though? not, for, from an okay. accounting okay. viewpoint, it is not a general fund revenue. We can't identify that right. as a revenue source. Interesting. Okay. So I'm Next going to year. email this to the to the committee yes. so that, that you can. Thank you. And that would be a good explanation. <laughs> yeah. And it comes along with, with it. Report. Yes, it comes along with the general explanation of municipal bonds. Okay. Yeah. I just tried to Google that and I didn't get that far. <laughs> What's that? I was trying to Google over here. Yeah. The, the Google stuff is so technical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Senior tax relief. Yes. So I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the Senior Tax Relief Article that the town vote to accept the provisions of Chapter 59, Section 5, Clause 50 of the Massachusetts General Laws. I second. Discussion. So, uh, not for this year, but I know there are, um, the $500, is that, I think that's something we could potentially raise if we wanted to, correct, or, or change that amount to lessen the impact? I thought that was set by the select, select. Yes. In fact, I thought it was set by the selectmen. Oh. By the selectmen. <coughs> okay. And how, yeah. how is it uh, uh, Is that this one determined? or the property tax exemption? This is no, the senior the, Yeah, the senior tax relief. Okay. Yeah. It's, the focus is specifically on renovations and mm -hmm. additions that are done to a residential real property as a result. No, uh, not, not exceeding, again, the $500 of taxes due. Uh, provided that they said alterations or improvements are made to provide housing for a person who is at least 60 years old. So in other words, if you have a home here in Hopkinton and there's an individual who lives there who's 60 years or older and they benefit from that additional renovation, they then qualify for this tax exemption. And, 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 the, and the exemption only applies to the additional taxes that are created by the addition or the renovation. Oh. And there's yeah. no, you have to live here for a certain number of years first or anything like that. I'm just thinking that I'm comparing states now. Yeah, I don't recall if, if, if that is a requirement, but I know for a fact what you just men mentioned it's in fact a 10-year requirement under the means tested. Okay. Yeah. Yes, the means okay. test, test, tested yeah. uh, senior tax exemption law, which is currently, in fact, for your information, is currently going through the legislative process in Boston, and we're hoping it will be approved sooner rather than later. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's my summer project. Yeah. <laughs> Just like a senior tax relief. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, are we ready for a vote? <laughs> Sorry. <Yep. laughs> All those in favor of the motion for senior tax relief say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 0. The motion carries. The next one is set the salary of elected officials. Has that been calculated yet? Hold. Let's put that in hold. Okay. Yeah. Do we, do we vote this on is elected. This? We, we vote on it based on what's in the um, budget generally. So it, it, it's a requirement that the town clerk salary be set at town meeting. Right. Yeah, the, 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 the number has actually been calculated. I've discussed it with the town clerk. I just wanted to touch base with him before yep. presenting it to the committee. And I'm also skipping the 2019 operating budget. Exactly. Since yeah. there are no numbers in there. Yeah, and, and that's my favorite one to say as written. Yes, and we're still working on um, the motion. Yeah. And given the fact that now we've brought in different funding sources for the budget. Exactly. Um, the revolving fund. Um, hold because we don't okay. have the numbers yet on. Oh. On this, number yeah, the seven. spending limits. Yes, the spending yeah. limits. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, but what about the revolving fund bylaw and fund transfer? Which oh. Can yeah. we do that one? Yes, you, you can. Uh, yes, you can. In fact, by way of explanation, I think the, as you know, the municipal modernization law uh, now allows towns to set revolving funds as a bylaw, which okay. therefore eliminates having to go back to town meeting every year to do that. We did mm -hmm. that last year with the understanding that the state was still laying out the regulations for rolling out this new bylaw. Now those regulations are in place. We also, as part of approving the last year voted town meeting, the Attorney General gave us more specific and precise guidance on how to move forward. The only problem with this is number seven is that turf field user fee fund, and it doesn't yes. have um, the details in it yet. Yes, and we're, so we're still working we'll on this. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I can jump to Chapter 90 Highway Funds. Mm -hmm. The easiest. Yeah, I know. It's wonderful. And Norman, are you going to assign the numbers on the article? Well, we we're, yes, we're working on that currently, and we're hoping that perhaps by next Tuesday we'll have this at least clarified. Yeah, with all the numbers required. So I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the Chapter 90 Highways Fund article to appropriate $649,000 as written in the draft warrant articles and motions document included in the minutes. Discussion? We went over this uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are we ready for a vote? Mm -hmm. yeah. All those in favor of uh, motion for Chapter 90 Highway Fund say aye. 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 No. Motion carries. We didn't just jinx ourselves into more snowstorms, now, did we? Into <laughs> <laughs> last this, year. This highway funds. <laughs> okay, good. Um, I know the transfer to general stabilization isn't, the numbers aren't in here, but that is going to be 125,000. 125,000, yes. So I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the transfer to general stabilization fund article to transfer from free cash $125,000. I second. Discussion? What amount are we at right now? Is that Was that in the information you gave us? I, yes, it was part of the budget presentation okay. and the amount is $125,000. Okay, okay. But, yeah. but how, how much, much is it in how the much fund is the right balance? now? Oh, the balance is... Let me check. So what is the uh, operational budget that we calculate 5% for? That, for that. What is that number? What is the number we use? Isn't. Do we use including all the enterprise 
funds? Or is it the overall budget? When we calculate what we should get As you try to come up yeah, with the, what exactly. the balance is, just what right. you do it I will present the formula again. Do we have in the uh, town no. report last year? Mm. No. If you have the town report, <laughs> yes, you would have the, the amount of the Or do we say, do we define it? Yeah. Because we're very thorough. Um, balance is over $3 million. Yeah, it's over $3 million. Yeah, yeah I sure. Our budget's going up. Is that you or me? Could be me. No, it could be me. I don't think it was, but I thought that was me. It could be yeah. <laughs> they all make the same thing. <coughs> oh we have two point eight five five. There's more than that. Last year. Last yeah. year we had that. Yeah. Before or after the 300000 we added? Probably and before, because that 300000 so it's got to be at least uh, 3 one. Three one five five plus interest. Right. How much interest do you think? 3 2 you think up to 3.2. Well, we can vote and then. Uh, yeah, let's, let's we'll just vote the 125. And then let us know what the yeah. Yeah. percentage is. Okay. Yeah. All right, ready for a vote on uh, transfer to general stabilization fund? All those in favor, 125,000 for stabilization, say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 0. The motion carries. Next one is transfer to capital expense stabilization fund. I move the Appropriation Committee take no action on the transfer to Capital Expense Stabilization Fund article. Sorry, why is that? I'm taking <laughs> why, no why is this even in, in the Because warrant? it's in the warrants. Yeah. We, we haven't added to the Capital Stabilization Fund for years, so we haven't had an article. <laughs> I know, and we yeah. keep voting to take no action. Just is that, is that what it is? He okay. did. He's like, <laughs> did you second oh, okay. it? I thought you already did. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I'm okay. not happy about it. <laughs> no, it's just... Um, it's just still in there. If it's in the warrant, it goes in the motion stack. And we Why is it in the warrant? Why is it in the warrant? I don't know. We keep hoping <laughs> that we may find some funds. Oh, because the warrant closes yes. so far yeah. in advance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The warrant closed when? Could we be using the end of the January? Early, yes, early February. I think it was. Could February we in the one. future take the premium, the bond premium, and put, it, put it into. It, it, oh. Exactly. Or even some of the. No, we we'll leave it at one, one premium. Yeah. yeah, for future. Yeah. That's for a, no actually action. that's a good idea. No, if you're doing uh, since you're doing no action, is it going to come back again or okay. did you stay as? It for this is done. We said yeah. It's did, did anyone uh, second? Shadow second. second. Okay, discussion. We just did. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, 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 I want to put that bond for you. No action. Premium. Say aye. 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 Opposed. Four zero. You go to take no action. So I move the appropriation committee recommend other post-employment benefits liability trust fund article to transfer from general fund free cash the sum of four hundred thousand dollars to be credited to the other post-employment benefits liability trust fund. A second. Discussion. So I have concerns that it's not enough, but. Um, the four hundred thousand was based on old information. Is that fully funded at four hundred? Is where, where we should have been, based on the previous actuarial? It was where the previous one. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. similar to previous year's level. Okay. Yes. But. Not. Insu yeah. Insufficient based on the new ones. Yes. But we've known that it's going to be insufficient. We were anticipating it would be insufficient at this level in the fall when we had heard the preliminary draft Correct. in our in our fall meeting yes <laughs> okay. so just process question <clears throat> when when does the appropriation committee have the opportunity to say let's make sure we fund this 
more adequately? Is that during the budget advisory meetings, or is that something we relate to you, Norman, to relate to the Board of Selectmen, or? I know we don't have a finance director, so it's a little bit of a. One of the earlier joint meetings, probably in November. Yes, when the budget message is set. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, perhaps, Pam, this is the opportunity to have the Appropriations Committee advise town meeting on the long term implications of. Not funding not enough. Not funding enough. Yeah. And, and I do, and that's why it's important that we have this in the, in the but that document. And also, uh, that one complaint I had had that we're always using, if we had, well, if we have enough free cash, we apply it to OPEP, it really should be part of the operational budget. And that's why yes. it's so hard to fund up right. OPEP, because we didn't have any free cash to, you know, if we didn't have the snow removal, we would have applied it. But this right. should really be part of the operational budget. Right. Not, we don't need it right now, but I would be curious for next year how much we should fund it, given the new... Um, the new information so that we can keep that and, that and put that in the report yeah yeah we, we have that information we can we can include yeah. that table yeah. in the report mm -hmm. yeah I'm just curious Norman what do other towns do usually for open some are better some are worse <laughs> yeah some don't do anything some have fully funded their OPEP I think it's only two or three in the state that have done that do you know uh, Arlington and Wellesley could be I'm trying mm -hmm. to remember the third one mm -hmm. is yeah. Ashland no, Ashland has put in a sizable but not down so payment. Done. Yeah. They've started to really, be, but might it be Ashland or maybe Holliston, mm -hmm. those two have actually made some pretty significant contributions. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were doing well until the new assumptions and the new rate, the new Gatsby's that we're looking at to do it. Yes. And all of a sudden, the amount that we have to catch up again. Right. We were fully caught up before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the town is supposed to do it from operational budget? Some, yes, to Mike's point. Some yes. actually have an annual commitment through the operating budget. So when we started doing this a couple of years ago, I don't know if it's been four or five years at this point, but um, there was always discussions that it, it, it's not mandatory and, and the government's going to bail out the communities that don't, that don't have sufficient funds. That don't have sufficient funds down the road, and I think the uh, state is making it clear they are not so it really is a so now people are getting communities are getting serious about uh, committing to OPEP. Yeah, yeah. and as the population ages I just imagine more people retiring and, and a bigger strain although you know have to hire new people and this is post-employment so it's not necessarily that they've retired from the town of Hopkinton they've left employment from the town of Hopkinton they are fully retired. Oh, they're fully retired. This kicks in. It's like you know, okay. instead of going on Medicare, they, okay. they, we pay um, health benefits. Okay. So for someone like in this, this, the education, they often retire before they're done working and they do get another job. We're not paying, or are we? Well, no. they, they can get a job as an actual employee, that, that's primary, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But teachers are covered by through a different. Uh, right. Yes. yes. It's the non-teaching. Yeah. School district stuff that fall under this. Plan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any more discussion? <laughs> Sorry, Ready for a vote? It. <laughs> yes. All all those in favor of uh, OPEB uh, liability trust fund um, as the motion. Say aye. 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 Vote. Four zero. The motion carries. And I, I, I will have a line item discussion prior to the vote. Noted the concern. And okay. That it's underfunded and still not part of the operating budget. Yep. Thank you. The next one is to pay as you go capital expenses, which I'm holding on. And I don't. I wrote update, but I don't know fully why. We now have, as we presented tonight, we have an updated list and. It's shown on pages 13 and 14. Okay. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. As you can take the, as you can see in the motions document, the first table shows the articles that have been proposed for FY19. 
and then also we have identified some unused capital to fund a portion of this and we identify which article it was, what here town meeting, the name of the project and the amount remaining in the project account. So the money saved on that ladder truck. <laughs> All forty nine dollars and eighty three cents. <laughs> Did we lose that? Yes. <laughs> ladder truck. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Chief. I don't know. <laughs> given given the way the one in Boston just collapsed, maybe we need some extra oh. screws in there. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about that last night. <laughs> Chief, we, we, I need to send this number to the selectman. $49.83 still saved. <laughs> okay, so we can do this. So I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the pay-as-you-go um, capital expenses are to transfer $230,445 from general fund free cash, to transfer $290,000 from ambulance receipt reserves, and to transfer $499,821 from unused capital as described in the draft warrant articles and motions document included in the minutes. A second. Discussion? I have to take a look at this. So to make sure I understand that the the unused capital from the other projects were applying to these projects, and that's this is the mechanism for doing that. So there was extra money at the the building and grounds truck, and that's going to get applied, and then forty nine dollars is getting applied to projects that we're approving this year and pay. Yes, got it. And, and the law simply says so long as the, the these remaining balances are applied to capital projects, right. we can't apply this to. The operating budget. Right, right. Yeah. So one of the large ones actually is the Hopkins H Hopkins HVAC assessment and upgrades. Yes. They've rolled whatever they need for that, I assume, into the new article they've got this year, which is not on this particular one. I think it's in a, a separate it's a, one. It's a separate article. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Because I was saying, I think when we were discussing. When, on Monday night discussing it, I said that, you know, well, Hopkins had an HVAC just last year, so they're closing out that particular one, and then this will close out those previous articles, right? Yes. With the full spending. Yeah. Okay. And uh, is the school aware that, that we're doing this? Yes, this information was provided by uh, the school business office. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You find it interesting, the Hopkins School Ceiling and Tile Replacement Project because that's the one we had a big discussion on. About the tiles. About yeah. the analysis of what the cost was going to be and uh, um, the type of tiles they were using. So yeah. I think that was originally like four, was it 400,000? I'd have I to think. go back. Yeah. So yeah. that's significant. It's good. It's a good use. Oh, it's a good way to roll over previously appropriated yeah. and approved funds that are within the levy. Right. To use those and not go up, use up levy instead. Yeah. Exactly. And Norman, the key one, that's for the two student reduction? No. No. The, uh, this, I think, was the roof project at Kif Tech, okay. where we were assessed oh. a specific amount and based on the actual um, expenditures uh, towards the project, there was a saving for the community uh, in the of thirty-two thousand and ninety-five fifty-one cents. So, so just curious, I see the Elmwood Farm parking area. So unused capital is that because I, I don't see any parking at Elmwood Farm? That's Elmwood the one over Farm. on Ash Street, correct? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Is there parking there now, or there are two small spaces, <coughs> yeah. which okay. you can access right near the original farm. That's the private residence. Mm -hmm. um, on, on the opposite side of the street? No, on, on, on that farm side. Where the, you sort the of chain like is where the chain entrance is like uh, chained off? Fence down almost across from it's chained off. I no, I don't believe it's yeah. chained off. It looks like you're going into their property. Because it looks like it goes back. It, I think it then V's and, towards and the one end. goes towards their um, greenhouse. Greenhouse, thank you. Mm -hmm. And the other is if you follow that along walking is is the trail into the property. I didn't realize there was parking there. Is there a sign that says park no. here? 
I don't got to give so. them some money to make a sign. <laughs> Let's give them some of that I was money curious, back there. I know they wanted to put one, and there was a problem that they had it, to move a wall. Right. right. And, That's a, and it was further correct. down, and it was on the curve where the speed limit is 15, I think. Right. Oh, down and there. And nothing ever right. happened with it. That's why I was wondering. It, it, got it, it was a, you know, the planning board had a couple of public hearings on it, but I don't. Right. And there was a tree in the way, and it ended up falling down anyway. Oh, did it fall down? Yeah. I haven't walked there lately. Okay, and I'm just curious because I, I never actually saw that money spent and we discussed that it needed right. to be as part of the state funding. Mm -hmm. Right, but they never fully required a certain number of spaces. So, Norman Hopkins HVAC assessment that was <coughs> done, or and this is remaining from that? Yeah, my understanding is that there was a design done and there was a change in plan in terms of how to proceed. Yeah. Okay. Just find this interesting. It's the first time I'm seeing that the, the turn off the projects that we've we approved, that we approved <laughs> years ago. Yes. There's a longer list of unspent CPC funds. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, just curious for the Hopkins one um, from the assessment and any outcome that uh, was recommended or. We didn't see any uh, request for fund or anything, right? There is. It's, com it's, it's coming later. It is in there? Yeah, there's a system-wide uh, oh. request for funding okay. at this goal. I think it's 148500 oh. Yeah. Okay. Any discussion on the, uh, the, new, the new expenditures? Mm -hmm. We ready for a vote? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All those in favor of the pay-as-you-go capital expenses um, uh, described in the motion. All those who approved say aye. 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 Opposed? 4-0 the motion carries. So on the comprehensive wastewater management plan, is that that's coming from retained earnings? Correct. Okay. So what retained earnings? Yeah. yeah. So I move the appropriation committee recommend the comprehensive wastewater management plan article to appropriate one hundred ninety thousand dollars from the sewer enterprise retained earnings. I second. Question. So wait, what is this for? This was waste. that was okay. Yes. I remember. <laughs> it was getting late last night, but it was for that too. Are we ready for a vote? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All those in the favor of the article comprehensive wastewater management plan that's described in the motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 4-0. The motion carries. I move the appropriation committee recommend the Hayden Row water main replacement article to borrow from the water enterprise fund $1.6 million or $1,600,000. I second. Discussion? So this is borrowed through their fund, correct? This is an enterprise fund. Yeah, form. it's an yes. enterprise fund borrowing. Yep. Okay. Okay, so we're ready for a vote. Yes. All those in favor of the article, Hayden Row Water Main Replacement, as described in the motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 0. The motion carries. I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the Cedar Street Water Main Replacement Article to borrow from the Water Enterprise Fund to $620,000. I second. Discussion? I see there's no discussion, so we're ready for a vote. For the Cedar Street Water Main Replacement Article, all those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed? 4-0. The motion carries. And the next one is retained earnings as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the Pratt Farm Wellfield Investigation and New Source Approval article to appropriate $170,000 from the Water Enterprise retained earnings. I second. Discussion? Are you ready for a vote? 
on the Pratt Farm Well Field investigation and new source approval. All those in favor of the article in the motion say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 0. The motion carries. I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the purchase of backhoe article to appropriate $63,400 from the sewer enterprise retained earnings and $63,400 from the water enterprise retained earnings. I second. Discussion? See, we're ready for a vote. All for the purchase of a backhoe article. All those in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 to 0. The motion carries. The multi purpose municipal tractor? No, no action. No, no action. Okay, thank yeah. you. I forgot to change the names here from another one. I move the Appropriation Committee take no action on the purchase of multi purpose municipal tractor article. I second. Discussion? All those in favor of taking no action on the pur purchase of multi purpose municipal tractor say aye. 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 Opposed? Four zero in favor of taking no action. Would you like us to do the Main Street Corridor project tonight? I'm trying to recall, there was an interest in seeing the the, the, total total oh, the, yeah, the totality of the debt service. So, home. and also the amounts from the Legacy and HCA, um, or Legacy right. and Muse HCA, and where those monies. Could be applied if they're not applied to this for the two and a half million. Oh, we answered that question. We got a little handout yesterday. Oh, yeah. I, okay. Yeah. So I got to read that better. Yeah. Yeah. We can skip it. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's yeah. hold that for now. Yeah. We really want to discuss it at nine o'clock at night. No. Yeah. Um, I recommend the appropriation committee. No. I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the Campus Master Plan Study article to borrow $400,000. I second. Discussion? Let's see, we're ready for a vote for the article on the Campus Master Plan Study phase. Before we do, I'm sorry, how, how will this be funded? Uh, borrowing. Borrowing. Do I need to say borrow from the general fund? Or can I just, if I don't say it, it generally Sorry. has meant to be borrowed from the general fund. So within the levy limit. Within the, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, now I'm ready. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. well, What's phase one? Is there another phase of parking or is it referring to the campus master plan? Phase one of the campus master plan. Right. But it's not just phase one of the school bus parking. It's I think I think the campus thing is multi-year or right. Is this phase one? Phase or is this one does the school bus parking. This is in phase two, right? I guess I don't like the way the article is Title. heading because it's a campus master plan study phase one, school bus. and then school bus parking, not phase one school bus parking. You know, it kind of implies that there's a phase two of school bus parking, but it's a phase one of the master study plan. Kind of semantics, but well, no, in I, the, had, I had to do a double take on it. When I in you, well, if you read the inside, it says to see if the town raised blah 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 for phase one of the campus master plan right. study, mm -hmm. which includes. But if you just look at the heading, yeah, you're right. So. Anyway, um, I am. So I am. you'd like to change the heading of it? But I don't you think you that's, can't that's because not it's part of the warrant, right? Okay. The clause. No, yeah, the, the warrant clause, but it has not been signed. We can check with the school business manager or the school superintendent to make sure that they're comfortable with that change. <coughs> but it's almost like move to dash. Campus master plan study phase one, school bus park. So you want the dash yeah. after phase one? Yes. Before school bus? <laughs> or something like that. I, I wouldn't have had to do a double take. Okay, ready for a vote? Yes. Uh, campus master plan study phase one, school bus parking. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Four zero. The motion carries. 
I was just showing oh. about the yes. bar in Lisbon. Yeah, actually the, the church, there's a okay. church that shows it as well. I just, I knew it was bar, I just was an old levy. So thank you. You want to skip over the turf field as well? Yeah, yeah I still have the construction. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, is this going to have joint the C? We're going to do like a joint CPC. That is the exactly. joint CPC. That's it is yes. joint in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, 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 the draft actually combines. Okay. Yep, I see that. The different okay. elements of the. I got it. Okay. We're skipping. We actually, I have two more articles to vote tonight. Oh. I'm really? sorry. Only? We only have two more. Have two, more. two more. Two more. Two more. Wow. I know. <laughs> we don't vote on marijuana prohibition. I don't believe so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to vote. I'm going to recommend. I move the appropriation committee recommend the technology upgrades article to borrow one hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. I second. Discussion. We yes. discussed it yesterday. I guess Josh convinced everyone. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> he was really no, this is the school one. No, this one. is the school, this school one. one. Oh, okay. Ashok, this was. Ashok. Ashok. Was he here Monday night? No. It was Tim. Tim? Tim Persian was there, yeah. yeah. Yes, Tim. Yes. So okay. Kathy and Jean okay, so this is the school convinced one. us. Yes. This is the school one. So technology upgrades. So all, all those in favor of the motion, uh, say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 0, the motion carries. I recommend the, or I move the appropriation committee recommend the facilities improvement district wide article to borrow $148,500. I second. I'm confused. Wait a minute. <laughs> so, we, we so it's, so all, we see, all I see on my page is $148,000. That's all I see too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and it was yes. explained. It was explained when the school committee appeared before the. You can't just get it from yes. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we, we are still we are still crafting the language, but we know definitely it's a borrowing, and the amount is one forty eight five hundred. So we're based on this. We can well, no, based, no on based on the presentation. They gave us on Monday night. <laughs> okay. I prefer to hold since we have other ones held. Will we have more information eventually? Like by no, the next. Well, you got the, the information. information. Was, yes. It's they just provided not in the motion yes. stop. Okay. Yeah. We're just working out the language. Okay. Yeah. But it won't be significantly. It, it will most likely be a language that will be very similar, I would think, to the technology upgrades one, too. Yes. In fact, it will reference the system-wide facility improvement project, and it will reference the borrowing. It will reference the amount, which is one forty-eight five hundred. Why don't I remember this project? It was, this they is called it special. Is. They called it yeah. special. Yeah, they originally yeah. wasn't it for forty-eight thousand, I think. Yeah. This is the one where they cut the, the maintenance budget and the operational budget, and they yes. added a uh, yeah. uh, special special maintenance. Oh, special I, I, I was wrong. It was yeah. one hundred fifty thousand originally in the in the capital yeah. projects. Yeah. I just had, I, I was challenged with the stapling of this because they're going to figure out what page we were on. <laughs> like, wait, where are we? I at least got it electronically. I know. Wait, I'm still trying to find it on our little presentation. Just want to make sure I know what we're That's the correct number. Voting on, yeah. Oh, wait, it was on the back, right? Yeah, no, it's the correct number. I, I know if it is the correct number. That's where I found it. Right, Norman. Yeah. Um, though, I'm, I'm actually okay. putting out that handout. This was mainly the HVAC plus yeah. some extra stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Got it. Now I know what we're voting on. Yeah. Sorry, the numbers didn't ring up. That. <laughs> I can't believe out of that Extra one work, little line in, <laughs> in brackets you couldn't get that whole. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was Monday night. You know, if it was last night, I would remember. Oh, okay. In fact, Pam. The only thing missing is that the amount here is 148500 That's what I wrote. Imagine if it was only $12,000, then the committee spends two hours discussing Oh, true, it. true. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. happened. Yeah. 
So we have a. Ready for vote. Did you make a motion? I yeah. made the motion. Okay. Shadow seconded, and then everybody started crying. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> like that under the table. <laughs> That's what's yeah. going on. Okay. Can this be a part of the operational budget? Yeah, I, I think I can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Remember, this was part of the whole exercise of trying to get the balance to the budget okay. to um, less than five percent tax impact. Okay. So it's yeah. fund just transferring funds. Yeah. But it's, um, this is a borrowing, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Any other questions? Discussion. All those in favor of facilities improvement district wide as the motion. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Four zero. Motion carries. That's it for tonight. That's why not because we so we because we can't do community preservation funds yeah. or recommendations or land acquisitions. Yeah. yeah. In fact, with with the chair's permission, would the move of the motion and the second accepted friendly amendment just for the notes that instead of saying facilities improvements district wide, it's capital replacements district wide. See, that's what was on my paper here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Capital <laughs> yes replacements. That's district why I was yes. confused. Mm -hmm. I will accept that. Do we have to re vote on it? It's a friendly amendment, right? Okay. Did I hear an accept? 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything else to discuss for tonight? Um, I had my final ESBC meeting before I move, um, so we need to elect or appoint a new liaison to that committee. The, I'm just going to get the details of what you will be expected should you choose to accept this challenge. Um, they're expecting to meet once a month through October. They're turning over the um, building at the end of this month. Uh, but they expect to have to meet once a month for October. And then they'll need about 10 months to close up the documents and then have a final <coughs> meeting about a year from now. Just to close out the project in whole. So it, mo I would say all the heavy lifting is done. Um, effectively what it is is just making sure what I've been doing is that the bills that come in are calculated correctly and that they're not overspent on the amount that was allowed in the um, contracts and whatnot. And I have a wonderful spreadsheet to hand over as well, which will surprise no one. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh. I nominate Rebecca. I was going to just do that. I would, I would like to nominate Rebecca Roback as uh, the liaison to the elementary school building committee who will not be getting her name on the plaque, unfortunately. But no, that's good. <laughs> the plaque is done. The plaque is done. It got done. Unless you donate another one. Yeah. Good deal. I second. All those in favor of Rebecca Ropek for e ESBC uh, liaison, say aye. 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 I Close. voted. Is that to vote? You, you can vote. You I can voted. Vote. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right. you, Rebecca. Thank you're you're um, I will let Connor know that I'm leaving oh, that's that right, committee, I have to and then you'll have to go down and get sworn in. Right. For When's that. the next meeting? They haven't set one yet. Okay. Um, the uh, groundbreaking where you're going to have a Pam face on. That's right. Is, <laughs> <laughs> is, Jill, is June 9th. <laughs> I don't believe they set a May meeting though, no. but they will. They usually set middle of May. I, I, I don't think. 
You don't think what? She can be sworn in before this recommend appoint here. <laughs> no, because we're a liaison, so mm -hmm. she doesn't get appointed. Oh, she's not, she's, this is not a fixed position. I thought it, you no, 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 no. It's, I'm the liaison from the school, from the fi from the finance okay. committee in town. Oh, you're not? But, it can so, be but you're a voting member. I'm a voting member. But then you're appointed. No, those are the four people. So that's the um, Joe, John, Weaver. Mike Shepard and um, Rob Nickerson are the four appointed by the selectmen. Then there's the board of selectmen liaison okay. that they had to vote who's going to be that person. Okay. There's the appropriation liaison that yeah. we vote who's going to be on there. Okay. And so then it's a long time so last the school committee the liaison. Yes, it's a long time so last uh, looked at the job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and you have to be part of the appropriation committee to be on, I believe. Okay. I don't know. Okay. It's I been a long five years. I, I think mm -hmm. you don't have to, but you maybe. Oh yeah, I, ha I have, and I probably have to be a resident too if I stayed on, <laughs> and I'm not going to be that either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other business? We need to set dates. Yes. Was our next meeting? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we have to set. Yeah. Meetings, and it would be good to do while all four of us are here. Yeah. Yeah. Do we need two next week? I think safely. Just is, one. Is there a board selectman meeting on Tuesday? No. We, we do Tuesday and Thursday. No. It's no? school vacation next week, so there's no board selectman meeting. All right. Can we do two instead of saying Wednesday, Thursday? Get a little break in between. Yeah. Do a Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday instead. Thursday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me. Yeah. Are you here next week or? I can do Tuesday, Thursday, and be. Tuesday you can be here, Thursday you'll be traveling, or Tuesday and Thursday? Uh, Tuesday I can be here, Thursday I'll be. Might be well, Tuesday, hopefully we can get a lot done on Tuesday. Uh, we, uh, can we for book Tuesday? Because we're not 48 hours. We can do it Friday. Hmm. Because we have Friday, which is tomorrow, and Monday is a holiday. Isn't it a special holiday? But it's, it's a, a, I don't it's think it's not we can do a, Tuesday. It's a, it's a state holiday. It's a state holiday. Yeah. The town offices okay. are closed. Yeah. So I don't think we can book Tuesday because we don't have the 48 hour, the business part of life. Two business days. Well, my business is open, so let's just <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> the town is not. But it, is a it is a business it day. It is a business day, yeah. No, but the town offices are closed. It's and the state offices are closed. It's based does, on that, does that matter? Does that, is, yeah. Yeah. Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday. So the, the, well, the question really becomes: Do we need two more? Right. I, can we can we instead work behind everything so that we're ready to go? And Thursday we have one, two, three, four. Can we do it Wednesday instead of Thursday? How about place hold the meeting on Wednesday and then fixed meeting on Thursday? Okay. Thursday isn't well, good. Well, how do you do the placeholder on Wednesday? We have the same agenda for both nights. Yeah, and, and you can cancel Wednesday. Yeah. Can but we Wednesday, if we cancel, no, we can do it in one day. We have a placeholder. No. Or placeholder is Thursday. No, place all day is Wednesday. Meaning if we can, we are confident that we can take care of everything on Thursday night. Yeah, then no need to meet on Wednesday. See, I prefer to meet on Wednesday and not Thursday. Can you make Thursday? So Thursday's my birthday and that's why I'm trying oh, not no. to meet. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> well, how. When are we thinking Wednesday we might not be ready? Right. It'll be a we push. We will know tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We still have. We had this little race still, in the middle of all this. We still have. I, I don't go to that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't we run it either. Net, uh, we have two weeks, right? We still have two weeks. The 23rd is when yeah. the charter requests the does appropriation it, report. Does the charter request or is that part of the budget the charter. calendar? The what charter. We got the short end of the stick this year. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> we have a charter to find. What does the charter require? 
two weeks prior to the annual town meeting. So actually, I guess it's two. It's in two Mondays. Mm -hmm. but that's the twenty third, correct? Twenty third is. Yeah. Does it have to have all our final votes by then? Yeah, I think it's cleaner that way. Yeah. What time on the twenty third? <laughs> this is good. I like that. Before a meeting or after a meeting? The charter after is meeting. silent as yeah. to when it has to be issued during that day. But it's it's just the, same charter, is it the same charter that said we get our budget on. Uh, no, the charter says you set the calendar for the budget, mm -hmm. but not a date. But it does set a date for the appropriation report. Okay. So I'll, I'll go back. How much is remaining? We have two business days, right? No, uh, right, we have tomorrow, tomorrow and Tuesday. Tomorrow and so Tuesday. we can't do anything before Wednesday night. Right, so I'm saying how much is remaining to be oh. prepared for Wednesday night? We have three business days. Is that that much remaining that we... So well, we, have, we, have yeah, we, we have to finish. We have to finish. I will find out overtime. Tomorrow, we'll find out tomorrow morning. <laughs> what we do have to do is finish yes. our votes. We have to finish yeah. our votes. Finish our votes, yes. And also review the report, the report. and finalize the report and adopt yes. So we so could set a meeting for the following Monday yeah, is and then issue it that night? Yeah, the report's due on the 23rd, but are the votes due on the 23rd? Before the, before before the, the report, yeah. Report. Yes. So, so the we report has to include the votes. So maybe we plan are you to around on Wednesday? Yes. Wednesday, yeah. So if we do Wednesday the and then the following Monday. Yeah, that works. And Monday is when we approve the final report and we do all the votes that we would need to by Wednesday. Yeah. We go through a final draft, a good draft, mm -hmm. and then make sure everything's tied out for Monday. And, and the presentation would have to work, start working on as well. But that doesn't have the requirement. That could be. That that could be the day before. That could be. Oh, so we still have. You have okay, two we have the week of May first through fourth too to yeah. review that. So the report consists of. What do we need to have in the report? All our votes, and do we need that heading? Do we need the uh, the cover memo? The cover, the cover, yeah. All the things but we, we can, discussed. We can work up a draft similar to what we did last year, and then yeah. present that on Wednesday night, okay. and then take you know take everything, and then have the meeting the following Monday, okay. and work in anything that needs to happen, and then issue it after our meeting. Get it up, you know, Tuesday yeah. morning. Because assuming that Monday, when it's presented here, it's that final version. Okay. Yeah. So we can see it in advance, and then we'll yeah. be ready. Yeah, you'll with see questions. it on. You'll see a, a much better draft on Wednesday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the other things that need to happen can happen on yeah. until the following Monday. Yeah, I seem to like that schedule Wednesday and then the following Monday because it also gives us. Give, do the give the other board, selectmen, school committee to resolve whatever issues yeah. are out there regarding the fields. And you have time to prepare them in that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Will? Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Very good. That's the most efficient year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, we got a final budget. Exactly. Is there a motion to adjourn? A second. Oh, I'll do the first. You could be the first if you want to. <laughs> I move the motion to adjourn. Second. <laughs> All those favor of adjourning say aye. Aye. Okay. Meeting adjourned. 928. Well, thanks for accommodating my birthday celebration. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> this year. Well, just